Welcome to the second of the award hours. Uh, as you know, we have 82 awardees uh, and no award ceremony, which has been the highlight of the, of the Physical Zero proje Project Conference each year. Out of the 475 nominations, a new record for this year on employment and ICT, we have finally selected 82 winners. We have 10 innovative policies and 72 innovative practices and the crowd intelligence of our network. These are more than 7,000 people all around the globe have helped us to select the right winners. I'm pleased and honored to have Georgina Lazar with me. Good afternoon. Uh, and we would like to start with the first session of the award videos. Super, good afternoon. What is HELM about? Our 360 solution helps employers to better include persons with disabilities in the workplace. We provide three pillars, training, recruitment, and accessibility. And we do so by providing employers the opportunity to create job analysis reports in order to better understand how each job would fit for persons with disabilities. We also help employers understand how accessible their workplace is through creating an assessment tool that enables us to do this process in the most efficient and productive way. How does HELM work? We've been working for 10 years in the field of employment of persons with disabilities, and therefore, we support employers to find out what kind of needs they need to create in order to um, accommodate for persons with disabilities. We do so by developing products and services in different models, and we also use technology platforms, such as creating an on-site assessment tool for our internal team that enables us to assess as many buildings as we can. What is unique and innovative about Helm? We came with our solution because there is a lot of need in the market. There are thousands of buildings every day that needs to become more accessible. And we have hundreds of companies who require our support. And there are so much details about the recruitment process that eventually we developed an innovative software internally to develop a technology tool that supports our team to create an error-free report that enables to generate reports for accessibility and inclusion for persons with disabilities in the workplace. What is next for Helm? Our future plans is that we want to develop solutions and more customized products in order to support other organizations in different industries and across the region. We will do so through technological advancements and creating tools as such as the application that we created internally to faster the process for our team in order to have learning knowledge as well expanding our team across the region because our services and products need expertise in the field who are trained how to do the assessment process, whether in the workplace or the marketplace. How did the solution help you? The 360 solutions makes me innovative, productive and self-independent. Also, it changed my lifestyle and I became more active. What is My Ability Talent program about? The program tries to solve two important problems. First, the unemployment rate of young academics with disabilities is relatively high. Second, companies are desperately seeking for future talent but struggle with the issue of disability. The well-designed program solves these two problems independently where and it doesn't matter which kind of company, which kind of disability. What is unique and innovative about My Ability Talent program? There's three main elements. First, people with disabilities are seen as assets, as future leaders, and companies meet them at eye level. 
The second important point is that we create protective environments where companies can learn and where companies can gain motivation for the future. And third, uh, the program is perfectly scalable. We can do it digitally and we can do it wherever it happens. How did this solution change your life? Participating in the My Ability Talent program was a huge gain for me. The workshops enabled to strengthen my self-confidence and to gain a positive view of my abilities. This is how I came across with my new employer, Takeda, where I can fully exploit my strength and talent. How does My Ability Talent program work? The business model of the talent program is very simple. Students with disabilities do not pay anything because we really want to support them on the way to the perfect jobs. It's only the companies that contribute to make this happening, uh, and which is a good thing because it shows that in the long run it's really worth something to hire people with disabilities. What is next for My Ability Talent program? When we think of the future, we would love to implement the program in many different countries with local partners on the one hand. And on the other hand, we want to run a global program that is 100% digital and where everyone can participate in. What is Jamba about? Jamba Career for All supports people with disabilities to attain key competences, soft and professional skills. As a follow-up step, our team supports them to start work by connecting them with employers. Our team has developed an accessible and innovative online infrastructure translated into four languages. On the one hand, it is an e-learning platform, and on the other hand, it is a job-matching board. What is unique and innovative about Jamba? Currently, we operate in three different European countries, Bulgaria, Hungary and Austria. This means also three different realities. The best thing about the project is that we're really flexible and we have agile approach. This helps us to adjust according to the local reality and offer services that are needed by the market. How did this solution change your life? В продължение на две години търсих работа на Амакер ме на граждански договор. Благодарение на Чампа започна работа като продавач консултант в голяма Бренка Берга, порт на Стокъм от януари 2018 година. How does Jamba work? Jamba in Bulgaria managed to transfer to a hybrid business model and established a successful social enterprise to complement the NGO within the first three years. We aim to copy that model in all partner countries, keeping the NGOs for social activities while ensuring constant and regular income thanks to our services. Our dominant revenue streams are recruitment commissions, membership subscriptions thanks to our job board, business trainings and also consultancy services. What is next for Jamba? Our dreams for the next five years are to successfully scale Jamba in Turkey, Romania, Croatia and Germany and at least 30,000 people with disabilities to successfully graduate from our online courses and find a job. In order to do so, we need the support of trustworthy and passionate about the topic of inclusion of people with disabilities, local partners. We need also like-minded and impact-driven investors and network of local connectors.
What is making businesses inclusive about? This practice encourages companies to include people with disabilities among their stakeholders and therefore transform the culture of the organization. It goes beyond inclusive recruitment and incorporate social responsibility, differentiating it from similar initiatives in Spain. What is unique and innovative about making businesses inclusive? It is innovative because it changed the focus of part of the intervention in labor intervention programs. It focuses on companies, proposing them a purpose so they can be the protagonist of their own inclusive transformation process. How did this solution change your life? Creo que las empresas cuando tienen que contratar a una persona con discapacidad que les da como un poquito de miedo. Y yo por mi parte les diría que nos den una oportunidad, que somos totalmente válidos, que hace más quien quiere que quien puede y que, que nos dejen poder por lo menos y demostrarles que somos personas totalmente normales, que desempeñamos un trabajo sin ningún tipo de dificultad. How does making businesses inclusive work? Cocenfe is a non-profit and goal. The financing model is mixed and is based mainly on attractive public and private funding based on ideas, project and donation. And in a complementary way, on the added value provided by the consultancy services offered to companies. What is next for making businesses inclusive? It is necessary to design a continuous advocacy plan over time aimed at companies and to develop a technological tool that will allow for an agile evaluation of the initial situation and to obtain the necessary information. What is Make 12.4% Work About? The essential elements of the initiative are to trigger private sector, government and the civil society to open employment opportunities to persons with disabilities, but also ensure their programs, services and workplace are disability inclusive and non-discriminatory. What is unique and innovative about Make 12.4% Work? What is unique about the initiative is the use of young people with disabilities as disability inclusion facilitators who don't only inspire persons with disabilities and the mainstream actors, but provide guidance, support and technical knowledge on disability inclusion. Also, the other unique aspect is the use of technology where we have developed two apps that are used to support BIFs in their day-to-day -day work. How did this solution change your life? A lot has changed in my life but mostly the way I look at myself as a role model and someone who inspires others. Also, my income status has changed because through the work I do now, I feel I have stable income to sustain my family. How does Make 12.4% Work work? So Make 12.4% Work, uh, we look at disability inclusion facilitators as experts and we have contracts with each of them and through those contracts we pay them a professional fee for their activities. What is next for Make 12.4% Work? So Light for the World has developed the Disability Inclusion Academy, where we have developed a curriculum to, to train and uh, support and certify disability inclusion facilitators. We are testing and piloting it in other countries as well, and also in other themes, so not only economic empowerment, but also humanitarian action and inclusive health. 
We are looking forward to more partnerships with organizations of persons with disabilities to further expand our model. What is APSA Penitentiary Program about? Mi nombre es Nani Quevedo y soy la responsable del programa de recursos y acceso a la justicia que la asociación APSA lleva a cabo en el mundo penitenciario desde el año 95. Fue un programa pionero a través de una iniciativa del Real Patronato sobre Discapacidad y la hora plena inclusión y nuestra asociación APSA. Se dio cuenta de que en los centros penitenciarios había personas con discapacidad intelectual y que no estaban teniendo ningún tipo de atención especializada. How does APSA Penitentiary Program work? El modelo de financiación de este programa viene a cargo del 07 del IRPF por el Ministerio de Derechos Sociales y Agenda 2030. What is unique and innovative about APSA Penitentiary Program? Actualmente hay otro programa repartido a nivel nacional, pero la característica que tiene esta, este programa es que intervenimos dentro de, del centro penitenciario a través de nuestros talleres eh, ocupacionales y después de un trabajo intenso, arduo y bastante exhaustivo, después de, de, de ver el perfil de, de cada uno de los usuarios, lo que intentamos es insertarlo social y laboralmente en recursos externos, en recursos externos del, del centro penitenciario. What is next for APSA Penitentiary Program? Bueno, pues a través de la Dirección General de Instituciones Penitenciarias, eh, un grupo se formó un grupo del, del que yo formo parte porque la idea era poder agrupar, aglutinar a todas estas personas en un mismo módulo. Se creó la, un protocolo, un protocolo a través de la Dirección General y todo el equipo de, de trabajo y la idea es eh, el, para el año 2021 abrir un módulo específico que se llama Módulo Íntegra para personas con discapacidad, donde viva exclusivamente todas estas personas y se le dé el tratamiento que que es el más adecuado para su, para su discapacidad. How did the solution help you? Me llamo Rada Jiménez Fernández, tengo capacidad de intelectual al límite y, y trastorno al límite de la personalidad. Yo cuando ingresé en prisión conocí a APSA mediante Nani y Aurora. Me hicieron un test de deficiencia, de deficiencia intelectual y tenía capacidad de intelectual al límite. Ahora estoy trabajando en Terramar. Eh, y estoy en el jardinería en Terramar. Estoy muy agradecido a toda la corporación de, de, de APSA y Fernando, y etcétera, 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 porque me, me han ayudado mucho y me siguen ayudando. Welcome back to the studio. I'm honored and pleased to be here with Georgina Lassar, head of HR in, in Bank Austria. Georgina, a brief comment on the on the videos you just saw. It is um, it is very very impressive to see the goodness in the world and the variety of initiatives that are supporting inclusion of people with disabilities, supporting uh, from access into work to people who also have um, the disadvantage of being uh, in the penitentiary, which was in the, in the last video, to supporting, creating uh, the necessary environment and adjustments that we need to make as a society to fully embrace uh, the people who have disabilities. So I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy to see all these uh, initiatives, and I hope that we can also continue to support as many as possible. Very good, which brings us to Bank Austria. Bank Austria is for several years now a leader uh, when it comes to accessibility and also inclusion of persons with disabilities. Uh, you have signed, or your organization has signed the Valuable 500. Uh, you work with MyAbility. Uh, as head of human resources, could you shed some light on the assessment process, the hiring, and the, the onboarding process, please? 
Yes, of course, with pleasure. And uh, in light of, uh, of this, uh, let me welcome our viewers also to our studio in Kaiserwasser. I am absolutely delighted to be part of the world's biggest event on uh, disability inclusion. It is a great pleasure. Uh, in Bank Austria, we started this journey more than 10 years ago. It is because we are fully convinced and determined to um, have a very good customer base uh, in terms of uh, the people who have disabilities and to have a talent pool in terms of the people who have disabilities. This is because we believe there is the same potential in somebody who has a disability and in somebody who doesn't. Going now to the recruitment process, there are a few key principles that we have in mind. The first one is to create the culture that will welcome the employee. The managers that are able to see and to hear and to give a chance and a process that ensures non-discrimination and uh, equal opportunities. One of the key things that we are doing is to encourage people to apply for our roles. And this is also by having a dedicated wording in our job ads where we say specifically that we welcome people with disabilities. The, there is also a check that we do to make sure that no bias has been um, unconsciously slipped through the wording of our job ads. We also collaborate with MyAbility Jobs which is a job platform for the German-speaking countries where, uh, and we actually saw one of, of the clips promoting uh, such a program, uh, where uh, employers who have a, a very specific and direct interest to bring on board people with disabilities are matched with the right candidates. Uh, now going back to how we recruit, our recruiters have two main principles in mind. First one is to focus on the person and not the disability to ask the questions that can help the candidate to speak about their strengths, their passions, the things that they know to do and how they could add value to the organization. And the second one, to also perform an advisory role by supporting and finding for the candidate the right opportunity in the bank. Uh, our process also can be fully adjusted based on the individual needs of the person. We have had translators come to the interview for people with um, hearing impairment. And uh, nowadays having uh, such um, uh, a broad online uh, penetration, we also have uh, a fully, fully uh, online recruitment process where we perform both tests like for example, for apprentices, for graduates, for best starters, as well as interviews in a fully digital manner using Skype, which is a tool that is accessible to everyone, um, or WebEx as well. And this also helps with mobility, helps with accessibility, and um, uh, puts the candidate at the center of the process. Very good, thank you. Uh, bank Austria is working in a highly competitive environment with the banking sectors under pressure from fintech startups and other things. Uh, so the business case is very important. In your opinion, how does an inclusive and diverse workforce add value to Bank Austria? Besides uh, trying always to do what matter, to do what matters and to support the society as a whole, as you are saying, we are a business. And um, as a su su successful banking business, it is very important for us to leverage on the 15% of the population that has a disability. We welcome uh, this category as our clients. And as I was saying before, we also want to hire and recruit uh, a similar uh, amount of people to represent this type of customers within our employees. At the end of the day, if we want to serve a very diversified uh, range of customers with different nationalities, different abilities, different ages, different genders, different religions, ethnicity, and so on and so forth, our workforce has to reflect the diversity and the uniqueness of our client group. And by uh, embracing also as a, a talent pool um, people with disabilities, we offer uh, a very good experience to our clients from this category. So that is, one, uh, that is one point of view. The second point of view is that different people bring you different um, points of view into the organization. Creativity, innovation, comes from people who see life differently, from people who have experienced uh, things in a very different way. And this is something we are pursuing very actively because innovation is at the core of what we do. Wonderful. 
Is there something that you personally want to achieve or a, a pet project, a special focus uh, you would like to implement? Uh, there is something that um, I've started to make a few steps together uh, with the, the colleagues in uh, the human capital team and with the rest of the bank. We are uh, looking to embed the concept of allyship uh, into the organization as part of our diversity and inclusion roadmap. Uh, allyship means creating allies for the different elements of diversity within the people who are not part of that category. So for example, in the case of employees who have disabilities, allies would be people who don't have that disability and people who want to amplify the voice and support the respective category of employees, uh, feel better at work, have more opportunities to grow, uh, speak with a louder voice, etc., etc. And uh, we have started uh, on, on this journey uh, together with the Diversity and Inclusion Week, which we had uh, in October last year, and we are taking the first steps of really empowering people to become allies for the causes that are dear to their hearts. Thank you. If you had one or maybe two advices, uh, I'm sure there's many peers in, uh, in Human Resources Department who are watching. Uh, what would you tell them, which example to follow, what you, would you recommend? Um, with, yeah, I'm, I'm learning every day and I think this is um, probably the first thing that comes to my mind. We all need to stay connected between us because we share best practices, we see ideas from other companies, from other countries, and um, connection, sharing and um, advising each other I think really makes a difference. Every year a new development, a new way to support inclusion comes up and unless we share all these ideas we cannot progress. That's the first one and maybe the second one is never to be afraid to ask because sometimes you can be a little bit intimidated. If you are not from that respective category, you don't really know how to manage or how to handle and then perhaps this blocks you from acting. By asking the question, asking how can you support, asking what adjustments can be made, asking how the person feels, you immediately start a dialogue and then this also guides your, your next actions and your agenda at the end of the day for the human capital function. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, we would like to continue now with the, the second part of the award videos, please. What is Productivity Pact program about? The program Pact of Productivity is an initiative public private that construyó de manera participativa un modelo de intervención territorial alineado con la convención que busca dejar capacidad instalada en los actores sociales que hacen parte del ecosistema de la inclusión laboral de personas con discapacidad para cualificar el rol que cada uno de ellos juega. How does Productivity Pact program work? Los recursos para el funcionamiento básico del programa Pacto de Productividad son apalancados por entidades privadas. Cuatro cajas de compensación: CAFAN, Confenalco Antioquia, Confandi, Confamiliar Risaralda, y principalmente por la Fundación Corona y la Fundación Salaria Concha. Adicional, realizamos contratos o convenios con entidades públicas y privadas, y los excedentes son reinvertidos en la misionalidad del programa. What is unique and innovative about Productivity Pact program? Lo que diferencia la iniciativa es que el programa Pacto de Productividad logró que entidades públicas y privadas compartieran una misma visión sobre lo que es la inclusión laboral de las personas con discapacidad. Un modelo territorial que en la medida que las entidades se cualifiquen y trabajen de manera articulada y complementaria, garantizarán servicios adecuados para las personas con discapacidad. Y los desencadenantes, justamente la falta de articulación de las entidades públicas y privadas, rutas disímiles para la atención de las personas con discapacidad, procesos de formación de las personas con discapacidad en oficios que no respondían a las dinámicas del mercado laboral y empresas no preparadas, empresas que no conocían las características, potencialidades y competencias de las personas con discapacidad. What's next for Productivity Pact program? Queremos que el modelo de inclusión laboral Pacto de Productividad llegue a más ciudades de nuestro país y a otros países de América Latina con contextos similares. Por eso requerimos 
socios locales y cooperación internacional que nos ayuden a apalancar los procesos de réplica de este modelo. Igual tenemos una escuela virtual especializada en inclusión laboral y deseamos con ella seguir formando a las organizaciones de personas con discapacidad, a funcionarios de entidades que hagan formación para el trabajo e intermediación laboral y a todos aquellos profesionales que quieran mejorar técnicamente la forma de hacer inclusión laboral. How did the solution help you? Sí, todo fue gracias al programa de pacto de productividad que asesoró al SENA. De, posterior se hizo las gestiones en la empresa para que yo eh, hoy cumpliera siete años laborando y la cual ha cambiado mi vida de una forma autónoma e independiente. What is Avalon Employment about? The innovation is about not being prescriptive. It's about listening to people about what they need, understanding and meeting them where they are. It's about finding out about the hidden skills and the real talents that people have that we often don't know about. How does Avalon Employment work? The business model that we're using is about listening to the employers and the needs that they have. The financing was from government. We did originally use some of our own money to do the research project that led us here. So it's been a cost-shared process, but for this pilot, the money was given to us from the federal government, the government of Canada, and the government of Newfoundland and Labrador as a pilot. This has been an identified need and we look forward to continuing. What is unique and innovative about Avalon employment? Our innovation and our solution came from a social return on investment project that we did a number of years ago. We looked at what was our value and what was the true economic impact we were having. Throughout that process, interviewing the individuals that we serve, we discovered that we could be doing things a different way. We could be asking about the skills that we don't know, the hidden skills, the non-identified. A resume is just a picture, and we wanted a full idea of who the person was. What is next for Avalon Employment? We're going to be taking our project not only across the country, but throughout the places that we live. We're expanding our pilot to include 17 locations, and hopefully we'll be serving most of the population that we have in our province. How did this solution help you? Yeah, the solution is definitely special because it, it really broke me out of the stagnation I had experienced for the past five years, and I was finally able to get back into the game. I needed just that one bridge just to get back on, just to get back in the work really, just to get back into the concept of applying for work rather than just like hiding myself. It was a very big deal for me. What is ACAP about? The ACAP model uses managed care principles in a direct contract between the state of Pennsylvania and Keystone Autism Services, a community nonprofit provider. This eliminates the middleman and allows more dollars to be used for services. The model relies on the provider who knows the individual best to develop an appropriate service plan. Unlike many U.S. programs, ACAP looks at the whole person, including physical health, mental health, and behavioral health. Having 55% of ACAP participants competitively employed is just one of the positive outcomes of the model. How does ACAP work? In the ACAP model, KAS operates as a managed care organization, receiving the same capitated payment for each participant and taking the financial risk for providing services within that rate. We are expected to meet all needs of the participants within that monthly payment. What is unique and innovative about ACAP? 
fee-for-service solutions are fragmented and narrowly focused. A comprehensive holistic approach was needed as an alternative. State staff tailored a unique program to serve adults with autism that includes direct contracting with a provider agency to perform both MCO functions and provide services, and covering physical, behavioral, and mental health under one program. What's next for ACAP? We believe the ACAP model is scalable now and could be adopted and used in many human service programs. What is most needed to expand the program is a decision from a government funder to adopt the model either in pilot programs or fully operational programs. How did the solution help you? I have a team that helps me, um, that encourages me to help me grow gain more independence and, you know, help me um, to become a better person. By getting this new full-time job and getting benefits and I was, I, um, I got out of retail and I'm getting a bigger and more better pay at this, at the, at, at Dave one. What is Labor Inclusion Program about? El Programa de Inclusión Laboral del Benemérito Comité Prociegos y Sordos de Guatemala es un programa muy innovador, ya que invita a sumarse a todas las personas y sociedad en general, a ser partícipes de lo importante que es la inclusión laboral a pequeñas, medianas y grandes empresas y concientizarles acerca del derecho que tienen las personas con discapacidad a un empleo digno. What is unique and innovative about Labor Inclusion Program? El programa de inclusión laboral del Benemérito Comité Procedos y Sordos de Guatemala surgió como una necesidad para cerrar el círculo de la discapacidad después de brindar rehabilitación y educación inclusiva a las personas con discapacidad visual y auditiva, encontrar la oportunidad a que tuvieran acceso a un empleo digno How did this solution change your life? Cuando yo vine, estábamos muy contentos con mi mamá. Me hicieron la entrevista y con la ayuda del intérprete me aceptaron en este trabajo y yo estaba muy agradecido por todo el proceso. How does Labor Inclusion Program work? El Benemérito Comité Procedos y Sordos de Guatemala es una entidad privada no lucrativa establecida hace 75 años, la cual gracias al 14% de los ingresos de Lotería Santa Lucía. What is next for Labor Inclusion Program? Las personas con discapacidad visual y auditiva requieren de constante actualización, capacitación y el uso de tecnología para estar vigentes y adaptarse a todos los procesos de inclusión laboral y así demostrar que la discapacidad no significa incapacidad. What is professional inclusion about? Bom, com certeza, a inovação mais relevante do processo de inclusão profissional realizado pelo Instituto João Clemente é a possibilidade de unir três metodologias internacionalmente consagradas, sendo elas a CBR, Community Based Rehabilitation, Supported Employment e também o Job Club. Utilizando os princípios e valores quantitativos e qualitativos de cada uma dessas metodologias, conseguimos realizar nos últimos oito anos mais de 2.500 inclusões de pessoas com deficiência intelectual e ou no transtorno do espectro autista. 
What is unique and innovative about professional inclusion? Sem dúvida, o que é único em nosso trabalho é a capacidade de escutar as pessoas que atendemos, as pessoas com deficiência e seus responsáveis e também todos os stakeholders envolvidos em nosso processo, empresas, instituições públicas e a partir do entendimento dessa demanda, nós fazemos a flexibilização e adaptação das metodologias utilizadas por nós em nosso serviço. How did this solution change your life? Foi muito bom começar a trabalhar, eu aprendi muito, porque eu tinha muito medo de nunca conseguir um emprego pela minha deficiência, então era um medo, só que aí o curso veio, o Instituto de Ocremente veio, mudou tudo e hoje eu já penso diferente. How does professional inclusion work? Bom, sobre o nosso financiamento, ele vem por meio de instituições públicas e privadas. Nós prestamos serviços de consultoria customizados à necessidade de cada instituição que atendemos. What is next for professional inclusion? Nosso principal objetivo atualmente é conseguir expandir o trabalho desenvolvido na cidade de São Paulo e da Grande São Paulo para todas as regiões do Brasil e também para o mundo, quem sabe. No entanto, para conseguirmos fazer esse processo de expansão de forma exitosa e qualitativa, precisamos investir em tecnologia, entendendo que todos os processos que são feitos fisicamente necessitarão ser adaptados para conseguir, então, manter o mesmo êxito que temos aqui em outras localidades do país. What is customized employment about? We're not looking for open positions. We're looking for alignment between the employment seeker and the community businesses. And through a process of conversations and informational interviews, we're able to discover opportunities and create employment instead of just looking for open positions. What is unique and innovative about customized employment? Customized employment, I think, is different in the strong partnership that it creates between employment seeker and community businesses in order to really get to know them both and not just identify potential jobs, but to create employment opportunities that are a good match for both. How did this solution change your life? Six years ago, I was able to start my business using a customized strategy. I received some startup funding and some connections to the art world. While develop my business, I created over 200 characters. How does customized employment work? Griffin Hamas is funded through a combination of federal and state funding. Our most significant and consistent source of funding comes from state government entities. And then beyond that, we have a couple of federal grants and then some, some contracts directly with employment service agencies as well. What is next for customized employment? I think we desperately need advances in technology within this field at all levels. So I think we need increased access to technology for the employment seekers. Um, and for the employees that are getting hired into businesses, I think that our employment agencies and our funding systems need better support through technology um, and to take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of all of us. Congratulations to our winners. Unfortunately, this year you cannot hear our applause but please feel our deep appreciation, not only from the Zero Project team here, but from all of the network.